What is up, Haunters? What's up, everyone? HauntGuy311 here, um, also known as Every Day is Halloween 311 on Haunt Form. What's up, Haunt Form people? Finally doing my first vlog, um, so bear with me. This is my first one. Um, I got inspired to do these after enjoying some really cool Halloween and Haunt vlogs over the past year. Started doing some research on the internet when I did my first um, yard haunt. And, um, you know, I've been wanting to do a haunted yard for a long time. I've been a fan of Halloween since, you know, I could walk. So, finally got a chance to do that last year. And after some uh, research on the internet and finding, you know, Haunt Forum and and the whole Haunt community, I mean, it's crazy, you know. So, um, it really just took my love of Halloween um, and cranked it up to a, a whole nother level. And this past year, I've been enjoying uh, getting to know some Haunt vloggers and Haunt people and... Uh, just others that share the passion that I do so I thought you know I would make my first vlog I'm not sure how good I'm going to be at this but well you know I'll do it anyway so everyone just you know enjoy the blog vlog or whatever you want to call it vlog I guess is the correct term and uh, I'll share with you today some uh, Halloween yard sale finds and um, talk about um, my amazing experience going to my very first Trans World Haunted Attraction show in St. Louis, which is right in my backyard. So it's kind of cool, like, you know, having this awesome convention and I could basically, you know, pack a lunch, cruise to it, go back home, go back the next day. You know, I didn't have to get a hotel room or anything. So uh, I'll share that with you guys. And um, yeah, that'll be my first vlog. So, uh,. Enjoy what I got to show you. Thanks. All right, let's talk about first up my um, my um, visit to my very first Trans World Haunted Attraction show. Um, here's the T-shirt I got f uh, from Trans World. Uh, this is the front. It's got a cool little logo there. I don't know if you see that. Um, it was made by Chad Savage and Sinister Visions. This is like my favorite T-shirt. I wear it all the time. Middle of summer. You know, people are like, why the hell are you wearing that Halloween shirt? And I'm like, why the hell aren't you wearing a Halloween shirt, you know? So, uh, this is the back of it. Um, you know, uh, I think I paid like 15 bucks for it, but, you know, probably would have paid just about anything for it because I love Halloween. But, um, I didn't really buy any props at Trans World. Um, you know, I was pretty broke. I just wanted to go there and kind of experience it. I will say that I'm definitely saving money for a few things that I did want to buy. You know, obviously nothing like outrageous or in the thousands or anything, but there was a few things there. Um, you can get some pretty good deals on masks. Um, so there's a few things there that I'm saving up now. So, you know, this March, um, when me and my wife go, I can actually order some shit there at the Trans World convention um got this bag you know anytime you go to a convention all you haunters and people know you get a bag like this uh full of all kinds of stuff to look at when you're taking a shit and stuff to look at when you're not you know like cfx uh catalogs i don't know if you can see that you know they got some cool stuff in there I'm sure all you guys, you know, you probably got these at other conventions that these vendors have been at. All the vendors are super nice. Everyone there is super nice. Me and my wife had an amazing time. I got to meet Ed Edmonds from uh, the Travel Channel's Making Monster show, Distortions Unlimited owner, super, you know, super swell guy. Um, this is Trick or Treat Studios um, catalog. Just a bunch of catalogs, you know, some really great stuff. Um... I enjoyed Gore Galore, Distortions Unlimited. I can't even name everyone that I thought was super cool there. So, uh, yeah, that was my experience at Trans World 2012, and I'm looking forward to Trans World 2013. Ugh, 2013. All right, people, let's take a look at um, past couple months here. So far this summer, me and my wife, we always scout yard sales. We're broke uh, Midwestern 
folks and we like uh, going to yard sales um, you know so uh, I always keep an eye out for Halloween stuff at yard sales um, you know and um, got some stuff to show you so uh, let's take a look at it this is a ceramic pumpkin I got at a yard sale you stick a little candle in there it's cool um, I don't remember what I paid for probably about like 50 cents here's a little little baby pumpkin coming in there what's up little candle kind of looks like it's been melted a little bit it's been so damn hot we need some rain oh look lurking in the dark haunted yard logo thanks to font geek thanks font geek for making that logo uh anyway here is some stuff i got this big pile here i'll go through it and we'll take a look at this stuff all right people uh told you i'd show you some of my yard sale finds um so far you know throughout the summer me and my wife go to yard sales um you know i was keeping an eye out for halloween stuff so um I'm going to show you a little bit of what I found. Uh, first up is this uh, Bump in the Night Productions character effects. It's an undead zombie foam latex appliance. Um, the box was open, but they kept it in, in good shape. I don't even know if it's ever been used. Um, I've actually never used anything like this. Um, I don't know if you all can see that right there. Uh, it... Let me take it out of the package real quick. It's just a little zombie appliance. Um, I'm thinking of using it for like a static prop, you know? And uh, there's the inside of it. And yeah, just a little zombie face. A uh, little latex appliance, which is pretty cool. I paid like a dollar for this. Um, there was a sticker uh, from Halloween Express that said it was 13 bucks, so... Now that's a pretty good deal um, and let me grab some other stuff here uh, got a couple masks I won't show you all of them you know everybody's got these kind of masks but these were like 50 cents or something like that I don't remember but just like a pumpkin guy mask uh, and um, got let me grab over here a, a fake bloody axe prop you know for slicing and dicing those people that don't like Halloween and uh, got some some spider lights you know could always use more lights and decorations got some bloody cloth lots of that stuff um, got this cool little uh, inside decoration you know I like this type of stuff too reminds me of when I was a kid you know my parents put this type of stuff out just a little, like, um, I don't know, aluminum or tin, whatever. A little haunted house, which is pretty cool. A um, little ghost on there. You know, that's cool. Uh, let's see. I got a bunch of these. My wife loves to bake, and she is an awesome baker. I love her food, love her cooking. Got a bunch of these for, like, uh, 25 cents. Um, just molds. I got a brain. A hand mold and I think we got a heart in there too um, and then I got uh, I show you this real quick uh, this guy is one of those hand props that are like holding the sign I guess you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I'm gonna redo this and put uh, lurking in the dark haunted yard on it and probably like hang it you know and um, by my front door on my porch or something just kind of something cool that I could alter really quick and it'd be cool to like promote the haunt you know quick sign and then uh, I got this bad boy I'm thinking this was homemade but it's still pretty cool uh, it's like a, a, a demon skeleton character he's kind of you can kind of see he's his face is kind of chipping so I might have to fix them up, but, you know, it's got some bolts here that go in there, but, uh, and some wings, and some little horns, but it's a pretty cool character, pretty macabre, 
hang them in a tree or something like that, you know, throw them on a trick-or-treater. No, I'm just kidding, but do something cool like that. Uh, and I got this skeleton mask cool. It's kind of got, you know, the t-shirt the kind of material inside where the jaw can open. Um, so there's a few other things, but so far that's my um, haunted yard sale finds and uh hope you enjoyed checking some of the stuff out thanks